Okay, here we are again. The National Astronomical Observatory of Japan. This is at the Mataka campus near to my um, offices at Yokogawa. It's a beautiful place. I thought I'd come back here and make some video this time. Last time I posted up only pictures on the uh, forum. There are two main refractors, as you'll see in a moment, that are open to the public to visit, and it's well worth the effort. This is the first refractor, the smaller of the two, and in here you'll normally find this projecting sunspots. It's a beautiful old lady from 1924-26, I believe, a Zeiss telescope, or Jenna to be more precise. As you can see it's got a clockwork drive with a governor running at the top and below in the pedestal you find the weights which effectively you wind up the weights and as the weights fall that energy is transferred through the gears you just saw via the governor to control the motion of the telescope fantastic system and there's the governor the observatory is all run by hand you have to manually crank the dome around and as I say most most uh, most days in Japan it's very nice so you can get these nice uh, days to project the Sun and there'll always be someone there to explain about the telescope and astronomy in general. Beautiful thing. Now we're going to the main 65 centimeter telescope. Again, the campus was moved here after the big earthquake in the Kanto plain. That convinced them to move to the telescopes and everything to Mitaka, where they've remained ever since. This is the, the observatory for the huge 65 centimetre refractor. I think it's 10 metre focal length. You'll see it in a moment. And here is Saturn. Along the path leading up to this telescope you can find all the planets information in English and Japanese. But here she is. This really is a grand old lady. It's a huge thing. And the, the, the workmanship in the dome itself is made of think of an ash wood inside. This telescope reminds me of the film Armageddon where the astronomer finds the uh, comet coming to impact the earth. You can just imagine sitting at the end of this thing looking out at the sky. It must be wonderful. And again it's all mechanical. This is an inferometer outside and this is a picture of their um, solar telescope, solar flare telescope. But unfortunately on the day the weather didn't cooperate 